So binary subtraction is a rather addition is easy. No? You can have a uh, zero plus zero is zero, one plus zero is one, zero plus one is one, and one plus one is zero carry one. Okay, do you follow? No? Binary subtraction is is also simple, but there's an issue regarding this regarding this process. No? Why? Uh, it's difficult to implement in an electronic circuit. Okay, which means nowadays, no, most calculators do not calculate addition and subtraction separately, because if you will have a separate process for both addition and subtraction, no, you will have a very complex calculator circuit. No, in fact, for computer science students, you will take up no calculation using. We will discuss arithmetic logic anyway. No. So usually most modern arithmetic logic units do not have a separate process for subtraction. They will only they will only reuse the process that they use for addition. Okay. So uh, here's the process: zero minus zero is zero, one minus zero is zero, one minus one is zero, right? Zero minus one equals one, but we borrow one from the other. Now borrowing one from the next is like borrowing two. In decimal, when we say borrow one, we say borrow 10, right? So here, when we say borrow one, we mean borrow two. You follow? Okay. Okay, we borrow one from the next order digit or the next place value and get the remainder as one, okay? So, okay. So zero minus one is one with a certain borrow, okay? Any questions so far? Here's an example, okay? 123.75 minus 85.5. Okay. You follow? So 123.75, if you convert, convert it using our process, is 1110111.11. Okay. Yeah, yes, that's 0.5 plus 0.25 is 0.75. And 85.5 is 10101010.10. You follow? Okay, okay. We we'll have one minus zero, one. One minus one, zero. One minus one, zero. One minus zero is one. Now zero minus one cannot be. We'll borrow the one. A borrow one is like a borrow two. So two minus one is one. Since we have erased this, it's now zero. Zero minus zero is zero. One minus one is zero. One minus zero is one. 1 minus 1 is 0. Take note of this. No? Okay. The last being a 0. Okay. So this is 38.25. Take note this is a 0.25. Oh, right? Because this is a 0.5. So this is a 0.25. 1, 2, 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. 8, 6, 16, 32. 32 plus 6 is 38. So this is 38.25. Even if you don't use our pick and mark, no? Can easily compute this because this only reaches up to the uh, two, 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 uh, 30, 32. You know? That's two to the fifth power. Okay. Any questions so far? So very easy now. But uh, this cannot be used in uh, electronic circuits. Follow? Because this is difficult to implement in a circuit, which is binary. You know? So digital logic does not permit that we create the same circuit no, for subtraction and addition. We can using a different representation. No? So most arithmetic is done in calculators using a uniform process for both addition and subtraction. We will find out why. No? So uh, to understand the process you know, of representation of negative numbers, you have to explain certain properties of binary numbers. No? You have to be familiar with this. No? Because uh, you will do binary series anytime, even if you just buy your memory, no? you deal with the memory uh, binary series already, memory for your computers or your hard disks. No? Because sizes for memories and hard disks usually comes in power of twos. No? Given an n bit binary number, here is the following property the maximum value of, the, of their n bits, the maximum value of an n bit property number is the value to raise to the n and after that we deduct one no? quantity two to the n after the quantity we deduct one 
Okay. For example, if n is 4, you have 1, 1, 1, 1. That's the highest value. Okay. 2 to the 4 is 16. Minus 1 is 15. So 1, 1, 1, 1 is also 15. You follow? So computing the, 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 high, the maximum value, we don't have to say 1. The next value is 0, 1, 0, then 1, 1, and then 1, 0, 0, and then 1, 0, 1, and then 1, 1, 0, and then what? 1, 1, 1, 1. That's, that's too long, no? What we'll do is just 2 to the 4 minus 1, or 2 to the n minus 1. So 2 to the 4 is 16 minus 1. The maximum value is 15. Do you follow? The minimum value is, of course, 0. Do you follow? So if you have 5, you know, for example, you have n as equal to 5, the highest value is 31, okay? Because the next value is 2 to that is 32, man. 32 minus 1 is 31. So if you have uh, n as equal to 6, the highest value is 63, okay? We follow, that's easy to remember, no? as long as you're familiar with the binary series. So. Okay? The place value of the most significant bit is 2 to the n minus 1. The place value of the most significant bit. For example, uh, in this case, the place value is n is 4, no? So minus 1 is 3. The place value of the most significant bit is 2 to the 3, which is 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. So the most significant is 1 less than pow the power. No? Okay. 16 ang ano, the, the most significant bit is 8. Do you follow? Do you get my point? No? So if you have 4, the next power of 2, 2 to the 4 is 8, or rather 16, the MSB is 8 because it's 16 divided by 2. Okay? Or 2 to the 3, or 2 to the quantity n minus 1 this time. Not quantity to 2, 2 to the n minus 1. Okay? Any questions so far? Okay, I'm having your chat here. If you have your questions, it will appear now. Then just type your question. Okay, so you have to be familiar with this, no? Uh, the maximum value and the place value of the MSB. So the most significant. There's a property called once complement, which means they complement each other. No? Given a two n bit binary num, two n bit binary numbers x and y, the x and the y. X and Y are one's complement. X is the one's complement of Y. And Y is a Y is the Y one's complement of X. They are the one's complement of each other if X plus Y is equal to quantity 2 to the N minus 1. Do you follow? Okay. This is a little bit strange, but it's easy to remember. Okay. As long as you know the count for N. Okay. For example, given the value 1, 0, 1, 0, what is the 1's complement? Okay, what is 2 to the n minus 1? This, this is the. Uh, uh, ma okay, uh, this is 2 to the n, uh, quantity minus 1 is actually the maximum value, no? the sum, the sum of all. No? So, for example, if you have 1, 0, 1, 0, okay. 2 to the 15. 2 to the n minus 1 is 15. You follow? What is the 1's complement? So 1, 0, 1, 0 is 10. Okay? 15 minus 10 is 5. So which means that 5 is the 1's complement of 10. Why is that? Because 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. 15 is 16 minus 1. Do you follow? Do you get my point? So for example... What is the one's complement of 7? It's 1. Why? Because 7 plus 1 is 8. Ano? I'm sorry, 0 pala, no? Kasi 7 pala yung ating maximum value. I'm sorry, no? I'm very sorry. No? So, 10 and 5 are one's complement because when added together, they form a power of 2 minus 1. Okay? Do you follow? Do you get my point? So, for example, 127 and 123 are are one's complement. Why? Because they will have a what? Uh, 7 plus 3 is 0. Uh, 4, 
Let me check, no? Anyway, no? Basta mapagkamali ito example nito. So anyway, what do you notice between 10 and 5? 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0. 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. Do you follow? So take note. What's the, the difference between the representation of x of 10 and 5? The ones complement of each other, aside from being 2 to the n minus 1, is actually a result of flipping zeros and ones. Okay? So if you flip the zeros and ones from 10, you will get a 5. Okay? Do you follow? So if you flip this one, you will become 0. If this will become 1, this will become 0, this will become 1. That's a 5. 0, 1, 0 is a 5. Okay? So that's another way of determining the ones complement of a number. Okay? Given n. <coughs> okay? How about the ones complement property of binary functions? For example, we have 0.111. <coughs> Okay. We can apply the same. <coughs> Sorry, no. <coughs> we can apply the same uh, property, no? Because we know that 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.25 plus 0.125 is 0. 0.875. We have that this value. Okay. For example, if you find the one's complement of 0. 0.625, okay, we'll just deduct it from 0. 0.875. No? 0.875 minus 0.625 is 0.25. Okay? Diba? Diba? 875? So 625, 875 minus 625 is 0.25. It's 010. This, this is 0.25. Okay? Remember that 6.25 is 101. So the ones complement is of fractions also can be flipped by, it can be computed by flipping zeros and ones and ones with zeros. Okay. Any questions so far? No. Okay. So we continue. No questions. So zeros and ones flip, flipping. No. What? What is the two's complement? The two's complement is the binary of a of a binary number is the one's complement plus one. Okay. So what is the two's complement of one zero one one? It is the one's complement, which is 0, 1, 0, 0, plus 1, or 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay? If you continue the, if you continue, apply the same process, no? 0, 1, 0, 1, you flip this, 1, 0, 1, 0, plus 1, you will have 1, 0, 1, 1, you'll get the same, the original value. Do you follow? If you apply the two's complement to a number, it gives you a value. If you apply, apply it again, it returns to the original value. Okay? The two's complement is the negative representation of a binary number. We follow? For example, 1011 we know is 1, 2, 4, 8. So that's 6 plus 8, which gives you uh, 14. So 0, 1, 0 is actually negative 14. We follow? Now, the convenience with two's complement is that if you have a number in two's complement, and add it to a number, it's like computing their difference. So this time, the two's complement will allow a subtraction using addition. Okay? Do you get my point? By representing a number into two's complement, we can now do subtraction using addition. Okay, let's have an example. Anyway. Here's the two's complement table. No? Zero, zero, zero. Ito yung one's complement. This is a two's complement. Okay. Okay. This is a table of one, ones and twos complement. Because you can take a look at that. So that if you memorize this, you need to 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 uh, convert one by one. But it's easy to convert anyhow, no? We follow. Any questions so far? <coughs> okay. So uh, you look at the video, no? That I recommended. It has the same examples. Find the two's complement of a binary fraction. How do you do that? You go to the end or to the last, the least significant bit. Okay. So for example, find the two's complement of 123.75. Okay, 1.3.75 is equal to 1111011.11. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 
Okay, you follow? You find the twos complement. Okay, you flip all the zeros to ones and ones to zeros and add one to the least significant bit. Dito sa pinakadulo, okay? Not in here, in the binary, but to the least significant bit. Okay, adding one to the least significant bit. Any questions? No? So the two's complement of 1, 2, 3, point 75 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, point 0, 1. Okay? There's a problem, no? Which is in the Hegel. Find the Excel formula to convert the decimal number with fractions. Okay? The ones and twos in, in, in complement in binary. That's your assignment anyway, no? It's there, no? Find the formula. Because you can create a formula that will compute the twos complement. Converting an n bit twos complement integer into decimal. How do you convert it to decimal? Well, you, 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 com com you com compute it again. Or you apply to complement again and, and compute the value. It gives you the same process, right? But sometimes, there's a, but there's a shortcut. No? You don't have to reverse the process and do this again. Okay? To convert, if you know that a number is in two's complement form, you don't have to reverse the process and compute the value. Okay? You can use the value right away using the same process. Okay? For example, you use this. If you know that a number is a two's complement form is in two's complement form. You just check the MSB. Okay. For example, if the MSB is one, you compute the binary sum of all with the MSB assigned a negative place value. For example, we know we are given one one zero one one to be a two's complement number. What's the equivalent in binary? You apply the same process. But the MSB is computed negative 16 instead of positive 16. Okay? Negative 16 plus 8 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1. This is negative 5. Okay? You can apply the two's complement, conver complement conversion. It will be negative 5. Okay? For example, what if the MSB is 0? You extend the next it one more bit and assign it a value of 1 and compute using the same process. For example, in this case, we have zero as the MSB. Now, uh, when you have two's complement, no, the leading the leading uh, symbols are not erased. You follow? You do not erase this. The leading symbols, even trailing symbols, you do not erase because this does, does not mean they are insignificant. Okay. You extend it one more time and assign it a one and use the same process. So this is now one zero. And we have negative 32 plus 0 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. That's negative 17. Okay. Okay, can we have an example? Okay. Now we'll use the example in the video. No? 26 point, let's look at the video. 26 minus 25. Okay. <coughs> okay. 26 minus 25, okay. 26 minus 25 is 1. Okay, we follow. What's 26? We can use vector win. Okay, 1, 0, 1, 0. What's 25? Calls back to bin. We follow? Okay. Now, what's the two's complement of 20, the one's complement? Complement, not complement. The one's complement is zero zero one one zero. The bago tayong dumating. So that's the one's complement. Okay. It's the same value as the example in the video. Okay. What's the two's complement? 
the other one, no? okay. So dulo, no? so that, that makes the tools complete. This is now zero zero one one one. Okay. So twenty six minus twenty five. Okay. It's like what? One one zero one zero. This time we do a plus. Okay. We do a plus. Okay. Of zero zero one one one. <coughs> uh, let's uh okay. Any questions? Any questions? Plus ito. None to sir. Plus lang tayo, no? Walang problema. So, 0 plus 1. Let's do that. 0 plus 1 is 1. And, okay. What? So, this is a 1. 1 tayo dyan. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry 1. Right? So, we carry a 1 here. So this is one plus one, that's another zero. Okay. Because one plus zero plus one, that's another zero. Carry one. One plus okay. One plus one is another zero. With another carry. Zero plus one, one plus one, zero, carry one, one plus one, zero, carry one. One plus one, zero, carry one. And one plus one is another zero. With a final carry of one. The final carry of one is discarded. Do you follow? Do you follow? The final carry of one. It can be used to indicate that the result is positive. No? Okay? Pag zero, the result is negative. So, in this case, what's the result? 26 minus 25 is 0, 0, 0, 1. Do you follow? So we are doing addition, but we get the result of one. Is that correct? Okay, any questions? <clears throat> now let's do 20, 26 minus, uh, 25 minus 26. I, I would like, I, I would not like to, to show this, no? Because I'd like you to watch the video. Okay, and then you solve the next practice test on representing negative values, no? which we will answer by next meeting also. Okay, until September 15, no? the, the practice test on subtraction of numbers. What's this? The Ekobin. Okay, and then equals. That to be this. Okay. So what's the ones complement? Zero zero one zero one. You follow? What's the two's complement? We add one. Add one Dyson. So one plus one is zero, carry one. So the two's complement is zero, 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 one, one, zero. Do you follow? Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let na naman, kulang na naman. Zero zero one one zero. So we just add one. So twenty five minus minus twenty six, and then we write a line. Okay. Twenty 
Okay, it's like what? What's 25? 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Plus. This time we do a plus, okay? Plus. 0, 0. You do not omit the leading zeros. 1, 1, zero. Okay. What's the result? Okay. 1 plus 0. This is a 1. Sorry. Okay. And then 0 plus 1. So 1. Okay. And then 0 plus 1 is another 1. Okay. Then 1 plus 0. Okay. 1 plus 0 is 1 and another 1 plus 0 is 1. So we'll have how many ones? We'll have 5 ones. Sama ba? Five ones. Is that correct? One plus zero is one. Zero plus one is one. Zero plus one. One, one, zero. So. And, the, and the last carry is a zero. When the last carry, carry is a zero, the result is in two's complement form. No? Unlike here, no? Do you follow? The last carry is a one, so the result is in one's complement. At the, at the last, sorry, sorry, sorry. The last zero it's positive no dito the last carry is a uh, lang no kasi dapat uh, it should, should have something a uh, negative no okay. how do you know that it's a negative number Zero plus one, one plus zero, one, 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 one. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> because this is a, the two the, the next is a it is a if you will convert this no twenty six. This is a negative number. How do we know that it's negative, the negative number? The last, no? The last carry, or rather the last, uh, no, the last digit should be a one. Okay. We'll have another example for this, no? But anyway, this is a negative, uh, no, the, the, the one's complement of this is, uh, it's easy to compute, no? You just negative the last, uh, no? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So this is negative 32. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Negative 16. So this is negative 16. Because we know that it's a complement. Plus 8, plus 4, plus 2, plus 1. Okay? That's how to compute, no? Because the, the, the last is a 1. So 8 plus 2. 14 plus 15. So this is a 1, right? That's how you compute. This is a positive 1. Or if you want to convert this into 1's complement, the 1's complement is 0, 0, 0. Okay? And, and the 2's complement, 2's complement is 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? Therefore, I'm oh, sorry, 1, one, two, three, four, five, okay? It's zero, one. So therefore, this is negative one, okay? We follow, this is negative one, okay? You should have an indicator. We'll find out later, no? This is a negative one, okay? Because the result is in two's complement form. Anyway, let me look at the, any questions so far? Uh, let me look at the example in the video and then we'll solve it ourselves. Okay. Get a real time bird's eye view of your project. Create project plan.
Okay, ito. This one, 11.25 minus 6.5, okay? That's what we are going to do. 11.25 minus 6.5. Eleven point twenty-five minus. We have a minus six point five. We just enlarge this anyway. Can you see this? Okay. Okay. Any questions so far? So what's 11.25? So we'll have uh, 11.25. Huh? We'll have uh, 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, 8. Then we have a 0.5. What's that divided by 2? Okay, do you follow? 11.25 is 1, 0, 1, 1, okay, 0, uh, 1. Okay. So in other words, 11.25 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, uh, point zero 0, 1. Do you follow? This decimal. You follow now what's 6.5 6.5 okay we will have for 6.5 6.5 6.5 no? is zero you have to include the zero because we are going to convert it to two zero one one zero point one it's one no point five number okay you follow Okay, what's the one's complement? Kasali ang ano, no? Kasali ito. So this will be 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, and the two's complement? We add one here. It's the two's complement. 1 plus 1 is? Zero. We have a carry here. Okay. Oh. Let's have. We'll have to insert. So we have a carry One plus one is a zero. Carry one. This one. One plus zero is one. So now this is a one. Is the two's complement of 6.5? Okay, so 11.25, 11.25, which is this, no? So, yon, okay. And this is the one's complement, two's complement of 6.5, right? We just add them together. I'm sorry. We'll add them together. It doesn't matter which comes first. Because it's now addition, right? It doesn't matter. This is two's complement of 6.5. Do you follow? We can add them together. It doesn't matter whether six is six point five is above or below, because it's addition anyway. No, zero plus one is one. One plus uh one plus zero is one. One plus one is zero. Carry one. One plus zero plus one is zero. Carry one. One plus zero plus zero is one. Okay, and then one plus one is zero. Carry one. The last carry we discard. Okay. You follow? So 11.25 minus 6.5 is equal to this. No?
Okay? It's equal to this. This means that the last value is a positive value. So anyway, pag last carry is a 0, it's a positive value. Now, the last carry is a 1. No, the last carry is a 0, 1 is a positive value. The last carry is a 0, the last carry is the result is a negative value. Dapat ganun eh, no? So, in our previous ano, in our previous example here, no? The last carry, 1 plus 0 is 1. The last carry is a 0. So now we know that this is a, a negative number. We follow? No? Okay. So this is a negative number because the last carry is a 0. Okay. In here, the last carry is a 1. The result is positive. Okay. So let's bring down the places. Okay. These are the place values. No? The weights. Let's compute this. Times that, no? Then we'll copy. Okay, and then we'll sum. Four point seventy five. Okay. So eleven point five is exactly four point seventy five. This is the right answer. Okay. Do you get my point? I'd like you to try the reverse yourself. <clears throat> okay? This is the same example that is shown in the video. I'd like you to look at the video yourself. So, let's review now. The last carry, if the last carry is a zero, the result is negative. If the last carry is a positive, okay, the, the is a one, the, the last, the value is positive. Okay? Okay? Any questions? Now, there's an example. There's a quiz that is up, no? Which I'd like you to solve yourself, okay? Hidden by no? Binary subtraction with fractions. Sample exercise on binary subtraction. Can I show this to you na lang? For example, exam. There's there are sample exercises in binary subtraction. I'll show you that. I'll show you that. Anyway, no? so my time pa tayo, no? So anyway. Let's look at that anyway, no? Here are other examples for binary subtraction. Ito, no? It's a sample exercise, but there's a solution to sample exercise. No, it's this. I, have, I should have sample exam. Anyway, the solution is there. I'd I don't like to show it to you yet. No. I'd like you to take a look at the sample exam. Okay? The sample test on binary subtraction. I will show you the solution next meeting. Okay? Anyway, there's a video on how to do subtraction using two complement form. Okay? Wala talaga. Mali pala ako. This is a practice exercise. These are the solutions to the practice exercise and uh, no, no negative numbers. No, okay, subtraction of this is a slide which you can download. 
There's an Excel exercise. Uh, this it's different, no? Ito, ito yung sample exercise. No, you go through this too, but this is an exercise in Excel. But the sample exercise is here. No? Okay. Okay, the low ito. Sample exercise. What's the difference between sample exam? One, two, three, four, five, six. Baka na, it's a duplicate. No? Let me check. It may just be a duplicate. Sample exam. What's the difference with this? Pareho lang sila, no? I think they're just the same. So uh, it's just a duplication. Okay, so we'll, we'll, I'll just delete the first one. There's a duplication in our, uh, in our uh, I bet this is hidden. Uh, I'll show you the solutions to the exam later. So I'd like you to look at this exercise. Okay. Do you follow? So here, here's the exercise. Let's show it anyway. Convert ATT to us to one's complement. It is three. Okay, you do this yourself. Convert 83 to two's complement. Subtract 53 from 97, okay? Subtract 97 from 53. Convert the two's complement number to decimal. Okay, okay. and then uh, the fractions, you should also have the fractions by the way. So that's the exercise anyway. Can you do that next meeting? No? Let me look at the other one. Baka I may have a wrong label. Okay. With fractions. No? This one is with fractions. I think we have to show this. No? And we can have this until... September 15 also. Okay. September 15. Okay. So that's time enough. We can, we can discuss this next meeting. Okay. We have two exercises to do. One on simple ones and two's complement. The other on actual subtraction using fractions. It's not a duplication anyway, no? The other one is a practice exercise involving fractions. Okay. So, with fractions, it's it without fractions. Okay. Okay. Any questions so far? <coughs> so, I think we'll have our, ano na lang pala, no? our next formative test. Third week of September, numeric representation lang. We follow. Okay. Can I set this already? Third week of September. We usually do it during the, you know. Okay. Pwede nat natin itong gagawin 17. Can we do it on the 17th? Okay, we'll find out now. We still have one week to do. Okay. We'll answer all the exercises and then the formative test will be numeric representation. We will not include Boolean algebra because we'll have a third formative test 
involving Boolean, Boolean algebra and okay, logic gates. Okay, third yung ano. So our form, second formative test will not include Boolean algebra. Okay, but our third will include the formative and computer hardware. Okay, do you follow? No. So second, that you know, in the third, third week, or maybe early, late on the second. So September 17 is already the third week, right? No, early in the third week of September. Second formative test, everyone, you listen. No? Any questions so far? Next meeting, we will answer the questions. And then, yeah. So we'll have our formative test over the weekend by next week. Any questions so far? Anyway, we will still meet on Monday, right? We'll still meet on Monday. Okay, so you do the practice test, we will answer them by next meeting, and then we'll have our uh, second formative test the week after that. Okay, so that's up for all for now, no? Kasi matatapos, that's our last topic anyway, no? So we'll just solve exercises before the second formative test, okay? Any questions? So we'll end the class early today. Did I miss anyone? Anyone? If we check our Mayan, we may not be here anymore. Talio, are you there? Givara, <laughs> Labrador, never came in. Mapai may not be here anymore, but he took the exam anyway. No? Yep, is he up here? Okay. We'll see you next meeting. That's Monday, okay? Uh, sir. Yes. Pa ako pa po, sir. Yes. Mandan, yes. What's your question? I present pa ako kahapon, sir. Ah, present ka kahapon, okay? The other day. Ah, po, sir, on Monday. Any others? Okay. So there's an ongoing test, no? On the first formative test, for those who are, no, check your email. I've sent you the password. Okay, you email me if you can take the test, okay? You still have until thurs Thursday to take the test. Okay, that's tomorrow, no? Okay. So goodbye, everyone. Thanks for coming today. No, no new topic. We'll just solve exercises by next week. I'll give you time to solve the exercises anyway. No? Okay. So thank you and goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.